Hello, fit and fab family. If you're on a journey to lose weight, let's clarify one thing before we get going. Weight loss is a term most people use when, actually, they're looking to lose fat. The weight is lost when you shift towards a healthier lifestyle. The number on the scale isn't the most reliable indicator of fat loss success. We'll explain in more detail in a bit. Although we always like to say that nutrition is a crucial factor in weight loss, exercise can increase fat burn and make the weight come off quicker. Here at Fit and Fab, we prefer to take the slow and steady approach instead of quick fixes and fade diets. We believe the best way to lose weight is to change your habits and make lifestyle changes that are long-lasting. Exercising will help you meet your fitness goals, but it can also do so much more than that. It can help you feel happier, energized, and more confident. Together with a healthy diet, exercise can potentially support your weight loss efforts and the health of your mind and body. The best exercises to lose weight are ones that get your heart rate up, build strength, and that you do regularly. Give it your best, exercises to lose weight. One, mountain climbers. Muscles involved, abs, glutes, quadriceps, hamstrings. Count left, right as one. How to perform one repetition? One, place your hands on the floor directly underneath your shoulders. Keeping your hips lifted, extend your legs with your feet together and toes curled under. Two, tense every muscle in your body to form a straight line from your head down to your heels. Three, keep your left foot straight out behind while pulling your right knee in towards your chest. Four, place your right foot back down behind you and repeat the motion with your left leg pulling your left knee in towards your chest. Five, Repeat for the specified number of times. One mountain climber is equal to one repetition per leg. Tips. Keep your neck long with your shoulders back away from the ears. Breathe steadily, don't hold your breath. Spread your fingers out and grip the floor to make the exercise slightly easier. Two, burpees with push-ups. Muscles involved chest, shoulders, abs, glutes, quadriceps. Count one every time you return to start position. How to perform one repetition. One, stand straight, then squat down and place your hands on the floor outside of your feet. Two, with your hands planted, jump your feet back and land with straight legs, toes curled under. Three, lower your body to the floor with your elbows close to your body in a push-up position. Four, Press your palms into the ground to lift your body up again. Five, shift your body weight to your hands to jump your feet forward into a squat. Six, explode up into a jump and land on your feet as softly as possible. Tips, keep your neck in line with your spine. Try to complete the entire exercise as quietly as possible. Jump and land gently. Not into burpees? Here are some burpee alternatives. Nine alternatives to burpees. If you can't do burpees because of a shoulder injury, wrist weakness, or other issue, here are some alternative exercises that will get your heart rate up and strengthen similar muscle groups. One, jumping jacks. Two, jump squats. Three, plank push-ups. Four, plank jacks. Five, explosive push-ups push so hard on the way up that your hands leave the floor. Six, pike planks keep your elbows slightly bent as you jump both feet closer to your hands at same time forming a pike, then jump back to plank. Seven, my personal favorite, surfy start in a plank, then pop up into a surf stance keeping low, then jumping back down into plank. Eight, four counts start standing. Place your hands on the floor outside of your feet as you squat, jump back to plank, jump feet wide apart, jump feet back together, and then jump forward and return to standing. Nine, vertical jumps. Remember, you get out what you put in. Three, knee, tuck, jump. Muscles involved, calves, glutes, hip flexors, abdominals. Count one per jump. How to perform one repetition. One, one, stand with feet hip width apart. Keep hands parallel to floor and front of hips. 
Two, jump and tuck both knees in. Three, land softly and immediately perform next jump. Tips, try to keep head or shoulders as level as possible. Land as quietly as possible. Four, lunges. Muscles involved, glutes, hamstrings, quadriceps. Count, one every time you return to start position. How to perform one repetition? One, stand feet shoulder width apart. Two, step forward with one leg, bending knee to drop hips. Three, descend until rear knee nearly touches floor, front knee is directly above ankle. Four, drive through heel of lead foot and push off rear foot to return to start position. Tips, don't let your front knee extend further forward than your toes. Keep your neck long with your shoulders back away from the ears. Five, plank jacks. Muscles involved obliques, shoulders, glutes, triceps. Count one every time you return to start position. How to perform one repetition? One, place your hands on the floor directly underneath your shoulders, keeping your legs straight. Behind you and your feet together with toes curled under. Two, Tense every muscle to keep your body in a straight line from your head through to your knees. Three, keeping your core engaged, jump your feet wide apart. Four, jump your feet back to your starting position plank. Tips, maintain a long neck with your shoulders back away from the ears. Don't sink into your shoulders. Keep your hips still and your body in a straight line. Fat burning full body routine. Do three rounds of the following sequence as fast as you can. Grab a watch or a timer for this one. Try to rest as little as possible between each exercise and maintain proper form as you give each movement maximum effort. When you finish the routine, write down how long it took you to complete the session and next time, try to beat your time. 30 mountain climbers. 10 burpees with push-up. 30 seconds of knee tuck jumps. 10 lunges, 10 plank jacks. Reframe your mindset. Sometimes even when we try our best, exercises to lose weight can still show little results. Why? Because stressing out about the number on the scale is still stress and stress equals rise. In cortisol levels, followed by spikes and dips in blood sugar levels. Try to reframe your journey and think about what you will gain, health, improved mood, and energy, and not what you will lose, body fat? This positive psychology approach and reframing of your mindset are key to actually meeting your weight loss goals sustainably. If losing weight is your ultimate goal, that's completely okay. Just try not to lose sight of the fact that you're choosing to exercise to make yourself feel better. And if you want support during this lifestyle change, Fit and Fab has your back. Enjoy the journey. We promise your future self will be thankful.